next problem so a 4,000 is borrowed for 75 days at 16% per annum so yung interest rate natin ay uh, 16% 10% so nominal nominal or an, annual or sabi dito annum so 16% per year so how much will be due at the end of 65 days so uh, n is equal to 75 days so ito so umitong siya ng 4,000 ito yung uh, principal so p equal to 4,000. So ngayon, hinahanap is, so kung mapasin nyo dito, mataas, so ito ay future work. So yung P, mababa, yung F, yung future work. So, using uh, formula ng simple interest, F is equal to P, uh, 1 plus interest rate times N. So, yan yung formula ng simple interest. So, take note, itong formula na to ay naka uh, per year. So, per year yan na formula. So, ngayon, therefore, F is equal to uh, P is 4,000. Uh, 1 plus, so yung interest naka per year, so ito ay, ay days. So, therefore, I-divide natin siya by 360. So, 0.16 divided by uh, 360 days. Kasi yung interest natin is naka per period. So, i-divide natin by uh, 360. Assuming na uh, ordinary interest or simple interest. Pag ordinary, yung N ay i-divide mo by 360. Kapag exact or leap year, uh, n is equal to 365 or 366 kapag uh, exact na leap year. So, times, so, naka-days na to, times uh, 75. 75. So, therefore, mak, uh, masabi mo, sa masasabi natin, yung interest rate is naka per day na to. Uh, while yung N, naka days na rate, ibig sabihin, same na yung dimension ng dalawa. So, ibig sabihin, tama yung uh, formula natin. So, 4,000, uh, 1 plus uh, 0.16 per annum divided by uh, 360 days kasi simple interest times 75. So, take note yung interest saka yung number number of days ay same na. So, naka same dimension na sila. So, sa mat, dapat uh, same dimension yung sinasab natin. So, sa dimensional analysis. So, 4, 1, 3, 3. So, ang answer is letter A. So, dapat same dimension yung same dimension yung N. N saka yung interest same dimension. Same unit. Same unit. Yung interest saka yung days. Ay, yung N. 